वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई बी टीचिंग यू व्हाट इफ सिनेरियोस टॉपिक सो टिपिकली सिनेरियोस आर अ टूल टू टेस्ट व्हाट इफ क्वेश्चंस दैट मींस इट इज बेस्ड अपॉन द कंडीशन ईच सिनेरियो इज नेम्ड एंड कैन बी एडिटेड एडिटेड मींस इट कैन बी चेंज्ड एंड फॉर्मेटेड सेपरेटली now i told you that this is based upon the conditions now this theory will be more clearer as i'll explain with the practical now without wasting time i'll take you towards the practical first of all i'll show you what are scenarios so that this theory can be very much clear to you now i have taken one example here this i'll explain you how to make firstly just say that certain conditions are there like i have given the name as principal if 6000 if 6000 then simple interest is 600 you know very well how to calculate simple interest ptr upon 100 so i'll not waste time to explain that again because in my early tutorials i have already explained how to do that so if i want to take principal 7000 i can click here so different conditions i am changing now principal if principal is 5000 then what happens what should be the simple interest and rate is 6% then if rate is 6% then what it is so different different conditions are there and uh, if i'll go with another example now suppose one of the student abc and uh, different marks final term half yearly second term final term and total marks and then percentage now here also i have created the conditions scenarios that if the different marks is securing in different terms like in first term like earlier the marks were different if 70 then overall percentage is 77.5 and if we the, the second condition in second term then second term also if the marks are more like 80 and in final term 90 is there then 82.5 that means scenarios means different possibilities different conditions so two different conditions i have taken here now i'll explain you how to go ahead how to make the scenarios now taking the first example in which i'll explain you how to calculate the interest so i'll type here principal rate time and i'll calculate interest so my first condition suppose principal 6000 rate suppose 5 and time is equal to suppose 3 years then simple formula will be ptr principal that means p multiply by rate and time divided by 100 so this will be the formula now after pressing enter it is coming 900 so this is the simple formula to calculate interest now i want to put the conditions as i was explaining in theory that uh, how to use scenarios so i want to create the scenarios here it will be clearer so for making a scenario uh, first scenario that means if the principal is 6000 then what would be the interest so i'll select this i'll go to tools and here you will find scenarios you select scenarios create scenarios so here name of the scenario suppose i'll write here principal suppose 6000 here comment means who has created this scenario you can write anything whatever i feel uh, suppose i am writing here principal 
views 6000 even you can write your own name as it was showing now here are certain settings display border so i want to use display border and i'll go here i can choose any border suppose i'm selecting yellow copy back means it will do the changes at the same time so this setting i'll explain afterwards just now i'll unclick copy entire sheet means if i'll do any changes here it will copy the whole data into a new sheet so that i don't want to do so i'll unclick and i'll click here prevent changes and then i'll click on ok you will see here a border has been made i have choose the yellow color now principally 6000 it is one of the condition it is showing that condition now i want to add some more condition so firstly for that i have to type here suppose 7000 then i'll select tools scenarios i'll write here principle 7000 because i have to give some meaningful name here and uh, i'll unclick copy back border i'll change some new one suppose uh, red i'm selecting and uh, i'll click on ok you will see here it's highlighted with the name what i have given there and this arrow which is pointing down if i'll click it here you could see here two options two scenarios if i click 6000 it will show the previous data that if the principal is 6000 that much amount of interest will be calculated for three years second condition 7000 so that much amount of interest has been calculated so sometimes this is very beneficial now one or two more condition i'll make suppose this time i want uh, for 8000 I'll select the whole data, this amount from principal A2 to B5, tools, scenarios, three different scenarios I have made, principal 6000, 7000 and 8000, three different conditions. Now I want to create new scenario based upon time. So again, I'll select this and suppose here the time is 3, I want that if the time is uh, 5 years, what happens? I'll just select this, again I'll go to tools, scenarios, here I'll give the name as time. So you could see here different scenarios, principle and then time and each one is shown separately as it was clear in your theory. So you can take the printouts of different different scenario. Now another example, if I am clicking on uh, suppose time 5, if I am clicking on 8. I want to show multiple conditions at the same time. What I could do? I can create a new scenario. Tools. Scenarios. And now, I'll give the name as Time. And here, I'll now choose the option Copy Back. Some other color. Suppose green. Now, you could see the changes here. I Suppose I click on OK. This was time 5, when I click on time and now if I will do the changes here, suppose I will do here time 10, you could see the changes are there 10. Again if I will go to 5, you could see again it comes 5. The time was 5 that time, but if I will do here time, the last one, last scenario, here what I have done the changes, it will remain and this happened due to that copy back option what I have selected that option what I have selected here this one now when I have selected this setting due to this if I am doing any changes here it will remain suppose this is 11 if I will change some 
uh, another scenario i'll go to some another scenario and i'll come back it will show the same thing so i hope this is very much clear to you now dear students i'll take the new example just to save the time i already typed the data in this i am calculating the overall percentage suppose any particular student in first term is getting 60 second term 70 final term again 70 total 200 and percentage it's easy you know very well how to calculate the marks overall marks multiply by 100 and if each term is of 100 then means divided by 300 now how to use the scenarios so first selecting the whole data then going to tools and scenarios now this is based upon first term if the marks is 60 so i can just give the name as first term 60 and then giving some color okay now changing the marks suppose first term i want to make it to suppose if i am getting 80 in first term then what will be the overall percentage 73 so i can just select the whole data once again okay so earlier when i have choose black color i can't see what the text was but this time it could be seen so means different different conditions can be used based upon scenarios sometimes it is very beneficial to show the actual facts now suppose the students is calculating the percentage and if we want to make the target that if he secures 80% in second term what will be the overall difference the same way i'll select the whole data Okay, you could see at three different conditions. By default, first term sixty. If first term is eighty, and then second term eighty. So I hope the concept of scenarios are very much clear to you. How can we use it, and how can we display the result by using the scenarios? So I'm closing my topic here only. Still, if any doubt is there, you can always comment. So okay, bye bye.